Greetings, all praise the King, El Salasii, the first. We are speaking about fake news with respect to artificial intelligence. We've been hearing about these concepts over the past couple of years pretty consistently. There was a report done, I believe over a year now, basically showing this is what is to come. And what is it? Well, as I hope I've explained over the years, this is a type of content classification, class content. Basically, there are ruling rulers known as the world classes. They possess most of the wealth. Their life is much different than most everyone else on the earth. Uh, basically, people live in different worlds. They stay to themselves. They don't choose to see reality. This is why they live in gated communities. They make their products remote control through their military. And they're banking on you know, inheriting the earth. Um, most of what they do is to prove the Christ wrong. Um, they do not believe in the Christ way because they choose to live in sin. And that's because they have been blinded by their wealth. Even the scripture says those that take bribes become blind. And they're developing a system now that will continue to give them power. And it is done through the people, the multitude, as those fake Jews crucified the Christ through the people so they could stay within their system. Um, so they've comprised a structure of rule that uh, requires the support of the multitude, or otherwise known as the masses, and how do they get these people to support them? Well, through mind control. You know, they're actively deceiving people into believing that they are the rightful rulers and they're not the actual criminals. And th th there is this operation on all platforms uh, where content is generated and consumed. Today, this comes in many forms, uh, mostly having to do with the screen. Uh, the screen is powerful because it has a visual, it has an audio, um, and now, you know, uh, this beast is making this more realistic even though it's not it's not real uh, but people especially in the younger generations believe uh, what they see on that screen is reality so now that most people are hooked they're afraid that some some people may come and begin to provide this information as truth and get the support that those world classes badly need and take it away from them in the form of trust. It's most of what they're banking for and this process is trust. They're looking for the people to trust those rulers world classes. Satan is the prince of the world. And so, in this way, they have devised device that is delivering their message and obstructing the message that may be contrary to theirs. And so this Antichrist 
is able to do this because once people are classified, the artificial intelligence becomes the eye that watches those people and waits until certain words or phrases are said. Then these world classes will eliminate their problem. They have you know, predetermined a numerical sequence for all individuals, as many as they can obtain data on. This essentially equates to DNA. They use this information then to generate the content and as time goes on it becomes more specific. You know, for example, if you watch a video on the Ross Reaper account, after the protest, you know, some one of their tools, a model, uh, may come on and there may be a title like something madman. You know, this this is the attempt to form the impression on on people. They're using language and images. Um, at a recent protest we are at, they had signs and they say, you know, whatever. But the, the people don't protest. They're using those images so that uh, those uh, attendees have a perception about what it is they're seeing when, say, for example, you come along. They, they, they're connecting this with this if this uneducated. And most people, most people are. And that's not a coincidence. That's the result of those screens, that mind control. People usually don't have much to say, at least much original. And so, you know, the originality comes from inside. That's the creativity that those ruling classes seek to destroy. Uh, because it's something they cannot imitate. See, they're going to use their machine. That's why it's the imitator, because it is to take the place of the Christ in falsehood. And so, it's, this is the ant. Antichrist, ain't I Christ? Yeah. Although this is the second beast, not the first beast, as the beasts combine to form one, even with the spirit of Satan, to be the Antichrist. And the ruling rulers are using this tool to imitate, to make themselves appear godlike. You know, man says, oh, look at the miracles man has done. You know, man can use this, you know, imagery and facial recognition and satellites and tailor a message. Now, I bring up the satellites, facial recognition, because it's all combined, even with this fake news. Because all that information on each specific individual is being stored and made sense of in a particular way. Once that personality is categorized, then the generation of content takes place. This is why if you had a regular phone, you know you ended up having to pay a lot more for it, the service. Make it, they make it unaffordable to have any protections and they encourage people to have those devices because the information they're not just receiving, but that they're sending and really keeping people in a closet. Now, they're, like I say, the ruling classes want to keep what they got. They are educated and they know what history is and they know how they obtain their wealth. And they claim that they want to play fair now. So it's always like the, uh, the, the race where the, the other guys, like, you give him, he's almost at the finish line before, you know, the shot goes off. 
to start the race. And they, and he expect, he says it's fair. So now that they control the wealth, they've got to feed the information to people, make them believe that there's something that, that's worthwhile that's happening for their benefit. And they're afraid of certain content. So they did the uh, terrorist maneuver uh, where they plummeted the internet with the fake news so they could turn around and you know be like the British white knight you know that saves the day to come up with a solution and all this is 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 putting trust for certain content over others it's making their content preferable now what is their content well it, it, you know, people say, you know, follow the money. Uh, but if you try to do that, you get obstructed in all these avenues, blockades, and uh, barriers. So you cannot find out who the individuals are. But let's just say, there's people that own the companies that generate content. Um, most of the content that has to do with news or, you know, uh, uh, active uh, protesting um, is you know, paid for. Most of the content you see is paid for. Those people are incentivized in some way. Those people are incentivized. So, first things first, people should determine, is this person that's speaking to myself being paid, are they working for someone? Even now, they have these so-called stars that have the most views, and they brag about how much money they're making. What that is is part of the exercise to get more people to join bring more content because those world classes are afraid that some people may stand out. I, I, I welcome any person to dispute this. They have tried most, almost any trick. Um, when you're dealing with these bots, you know, Ross used to go and do the thing until the big troll, you know, the, the troll epidemic took over. You know, the, the, the system was designed, the so-called matrix, so that it was supposed to look like a democracy and that people were, you know, able to, to have information and everything was open and it, the field was all even. This was all a lie, all a lie. The biggest companies that exist, their, their funding and their operations, their technicalities, are introduced through the military. Basically, these folks are private. They want to keep their lives private. They don't uh, tell people what companies they own. And they don't tell people what those companies do. They give people small information to keep people's trust. But yet, they're not divulging the entire operation, not even a spectacle, a speck of a spectacle. And this is because it should be for a reason. You know, maybe perhaps they don't want people to know. And that's probably because a lot of it has to do with spying on people. That it might not make people happy. It might not give get people's trust. You know, but now people are moving to a place that the scriptures. Uh, declares the worship of the beast. And this is because this machine made with the hands of man, the pinnacle of idolatry, has developed so much power. That even man says, you know, we, we, can't, we, we might not be able to take control of it. These are the counter narratives when they start to deliver the literature that, that, that had those, those fear mongering cartoons because they're really trying to put people at ease. It's all psychological operations. And they've determined how this content psychologically affects people's minds. And as a result, their trust in those classes that own the companies, that own the companies. And you might have a few stocks, but you can't go into the company and say, hey, what's going on? See? Supposedly, you got voting shares. But again, it goes to the private issue that these people are spying on most anybody. 
except you know they're 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 putting they're sharing that information with each other they're not sharing the information about each other because they're on the same team and they are the enemies of God the Creator himself because they are the oppressors of the poor those that suffer and perish even today and let us not forget those that have gone before and so it's so easy for them to control your mind leaving oh just put some hard work in and you can get a new device you know chasing those incentives around not thinking about the effect it has overall and what you're participating in the beast the destroyer so now that they've got this you know Facebook scamber scandal which was not specific to that company it dealt with all the social media companies it was a pretext to push through these bills that will then give the access to world classes to all the information and to be able to, to manipulate the minds of the masses. They put the information out, I, you know, Raska videos, it's their words, it's their, they're leaking the information, but it's kind of like the New York Times 2003 thing. You know, once, um, you know, people figured it out, it's like 10 years later with Edward Snowden because when it's important information they just give a drip but if it's not important and it's meant to just cover up you know as a cloak then it is a flood a surge of information that keeps people's mind or at least makes people believe well this ain't that important because the news didn't cover it that much yeah so that's that's the witchcraft we hope we get an opportunity to cover it the scripture says much about so when it has to do with these bots you know these bots are what they say the robots now pay attention to language because bot it doesn't sound intrusive you know, it just sounds silly so, you know, who's going to say, oh, we, we have to be careful, you know, we have to, we must be warned about these bots, these bots. You know, so, the language of robots, the Babylon already knew this was their idol, the robot, but they've made it to be their friend and they have the college campuses now promoting this thing to the high schoolers. This is their big thing, you know, they're, the Babylon world classes are getting out of creativity and bringing people to that place of worship and serve through the beast the ultimate dependence on the machine these bots you know generated through the private companies uh, you know go on to the internet and spew you know to start rouse people up they're they're measuring people's reactions they're measuring people's personalities based on how they react to this thing. You know, I would urge, it is vital that people, to destroy this destroy, to not participate. And if one participate, just don't be basically yourself. I hate to say that, you know, it is what it is though. When you're, on that, when you're using that device, you're no longer one. I wait. The GCHQ pushes stories through people. They'll probably target individuals. The bots are more general. They're going to, you know, as I said, measure the reactions of others. They're looking for what they call engagement. Just as the police do, you know. The, the, the world classes are, are using people's language against them. When they can find something that people have said, they don't really know what the motive is. But what they're going to do is use anything they can against anyone. So 
how shall a person be holy? Because when they come into this world, these people are monitoring every activity, and it's it's beyond Orwellian. It's Saint John the Ivine. Orwell is an agent. He, he deserves to be in the pit, and they're going to monitor all the people activity and. Basically, the moment somebody, you know, comes at, not one of their own models, but somebody comes with the truth, they're going to say, hey, this person bought some Nikes, or this person, you know, and then they come out with this stuff. And who knows if it's for real, because you're dealing with the ultimate deceiver here. Yeah. And so... The Babylon has got things now where people just don't know what to believe. They don't know what to believe. And in the future, when these people are living in their little caves, out there's communities and things like this, to, to be able to pull those people out in their mind yeah, is a task. Only the spirit will be able to accomplish because the Babylon will have people so consumed and caught up. You think about all the nasty filthiness that they generate. Um, and now through these 3D technologies, they're gonna make people come to life. And these these are the sickest individuals in the face of the planet. You know, now that they, they, they what I was saying was that this, this is to take the place of the human because someone is afraid that the, those soldiers of these pagans will lose their faith in the pagan ways. And so they are eliminating the, that connection just as if they put someone into a supermax prison, they're going to separate them from people because they're afraid that person may have influence over others. And why should they fear if that person has done wrong, but those people are highly influential against their thing, their thing. <laughs> you don't have to think very long to realize what their thing is. If you just go to the internet and then you realize, whoa, I can go into a college library, search for something that's just innocent, put no restriction and hit enter and what do I see? And then you know that there's a whole new web called the dark internet that has something else. And the British say, no, no need to eliminate that. So if you're so concerned about terrorism and pedophilia, then why would you encourage it? Why would you promote it? Because they, they put the crime out, they set the condition for people to fall into it. And they point their finger at them. Take the blame off themselves. This is Kate. This is Rossi. Good job.